We're here at the premises of North Devon Metalcraft. We wanted to share with you part of our journey towards recreating Jaguar's legendary and unique XJ13. Jaguar hand-built the car as a Le Mans prototype using traditional skills. Those traditional skills are abundantly available here. As well as that, the enthusiasm and passion have really helped the project. It's been almost a month since I was last here, and I'm really looking forward to see progress of the car. So let's go and have a look. Come on, Neville, let's have a good look at your car. Oh, wow, John. It's coming on a bit. Oh, it's looking fantastic. Oh, good. I'm glad you're pleased. You've done such a lot since I was last here. Well, the rivets wow. we've been working on, as you can see. Yeah, we started putting them in. They're nice and tight, no pulls, as the original these, was on the first car. As they should be. They're not quite... Yeah, yeah, we had a good curve. look at that. It's nice and straight. They tail off both ends. Oh, Again, right. so it misses your so wheel like arches. That, like that. Yeah, you've also like got to be really tight around that area. Yeah. And they're all nicely in line, nicely spaced out. Again, no pulls or anything. But the boot floor, that's come out. That's all fully riveted now. Let's take the boot lid off. Oh, wow, John. So we've got all the, uh, all, the, all the diff covers gone in. The six bolt as original. Yeah. Uh, all put in. Your exhaust, uh, all put in now. Oh, that is yeah, it's come out really nice. That is absolutely nice absolutely stunning. Thank you very much. Yeah, you've got your arc of your, your rivets round on the top. Yeah. Again, in paint, I'm sure it'll look fantastic. And these are all solid rivets? Yeah, all solid rivets, all hand put in, every single one. Like right, I say, the bootlid uh, shut edge is looking really smart as well, all nice and square. Yeah. And we've done all that as well. It's looking If you stand back and look at the car, the lights are square, everything's looking nice. Yeah. Through the car. So, yeah, but it, it, does a spare wheel go in there or not? I don't think it, it does. It was designed it for was. a spare wheel, yes, they had to I have a, a spare wheel for Le Mans. Yeah, but if we take that off, you can just see it's just sitting above the gearbox as it should. It's all I steel. Imagine. How did you get that profile there? No. Well, to get the shape round there, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out at first, but we did it with plasticine. Plasticine? Plasticine, children's plasticine. It'll like never that. last. I, know. I was in the toy shop with my daughter. I was having a bit of a frustrating afternoon doing that. And I yeah. thought, I'll try that in the morning. So I bought the plasticine and it worked first time. That is to super. Give it the shape. Yeah, because it's got to be flat to the bulkhead under the wing and on the side, so it helped me just And that was labor. steel, originally? That's steel, yeah, all steel So that's original. all steel? Yeah, and it's Avdale rivets round the side when we finished it before we put the... Uh, the dash panel. Well, of course, you've got the original Avdels. That's right, the yeah, place. they're all in now as well. So, yeah, that come out really nice you've got as well. The tunnel in for the gear the linkage. Gear linkage, that's right, yeah, that's all in now. Fuel tanks. Fuel tanks will be fitted in the seals. As you know, the original yeah. was bag tanks, but we're going to put in yeah. proper aluminium tanks that can yeah. be taken in and out in case of leaks and stuff. Fantastic. So, I think it's a lot safer. And you've replicated all the hinge detail? All the hinge detail. Again, Paul's drawn all that up on CAD and uh, they fitted quite nicely. They, look, they do look nice. Oh, see, so you've done the floor as well. It's ever so strong if you stand on it. Can I stand on it? Yeah, go on, you can stand on that, OK? Just get in. There you go. So eventually, you just stand on your seat and slide in, but... Uh, that is fantastic. Yeah. yeah, it's all in there. Just take the bonnet off. Get your hands all right. The sides, the wheel arches are ready to go in. E-type steering rack, E-type front suspension. Just how you want it, yeah? When can I drive it? Yeah, <laughs> soon, I hope, soon. Apple, can you tell me how you got the pedal box in? Yeah, basically, we've done it pretty much the same as the original was. It's fully adjustable. Yeah. On the slides on there. Oh, These right. are just covers okay. to cover up the suspension arms. Yeah. Undo the four bolts, move it to the position you lot. You're a little bit limited on the length, obviously, because of the monocoque. Yeah. But if I show you some pictures of the original. This was the original pedal box. Yeah. Literally copied that exactly the same as that. Yeah, what you've done is exactly the same as that. Yeah. Yeah, even down to the Avdale rivets with the sprout sticking out. Yeah, <laughs> which they didn't the, bother uh, to grind off. Yeah, and the suspension arms. Yeah. We copied the same as, but in 318 stainless steel. Oh, lovely. Very nice. So everything looks the same as it should. And these are located as per the data? As so exactly the same. Well, you can see on there they've just altered the camera with some packers behind it. Yeah. And that is pretty much that on there. Also on the front of the monocoque. Yeah. We numbered how many rivets. 
All right. copied it exactly the same, so we can't be far away. Yeah, and of course that's an original photo. There's yeah. Mike McGalligat's hand. Yeah. And that was the lad that was at the gathering. That's Mike McGalligat as well. Yeah. yeah. But you'll also notice on this car, yeah. the original had two bulkheads. But when they repaired the car yeah. after the accident, they yeah. took that bulkhead out and moved the hinges to the second bulkhead. Okay, so all the way back to here. Yeah, you can see the hinge packers, we've got exactly the same as that. I all wonder if that was in place. damaged in the collision. Could well have been, it might just been ease to take this panel away. Yeah. Because on the original, you've got two sets of body line rivets, and on the reproduced one, you've only got one. There's only one, yeah. yeah. John was saying that on the, the rebuilt original, there's a little scoop here underneath the... Yeah, for the knee spaces. I think that was for lofty England's yeah. knees in 73. Yeah, that's right. Well, the, bulk, the dash panel we haven't done yet onto the bulkhead. Yeah. But we've even kept this original windscreen stiffener yeah. behind there and riveted all the same. We've just got to put the front one in when we remove the body again. Fantastic. But the main thing is you can fill up both tanks yeah. from one filler cap. You split right. into two, yeah. so that will come over to here, and then take the cover away. So when you fill up the both tanks, they both come into the both into these main fillers here, and it's yeah. exactly the same on the other side over there. All right, exactly as original. Brilliant. Yeah, and also when we were talking about in the pictures, yeah, the amount of rivets that we used. All right, yeah and we measured them all out and uh, count them all off, all the same, all the way around that inner panel. And we also managed to get the same bulbous mm. to miss the steering rack mounts. You've made a superb job of that. That is an absolute work of art, Paul. I'm absolutely delighted. Right, lads, we're off. Right, now we'll have a thanks good trip. ever so much. No problem. Thank you ever so much That's for okay. work you've done on the chassis in Pleasure. particular. It's absolutely superb. Thank you. Thanks and for Les work, Thanks, mate. Josh. The, the yeah. work you've done on the body, the shapes and things, yeah. absolutely superb. Cheers, Neville. Thanks John, very much for the job, mate. Appreciate you've been an absolute it. hero. It Thank is absolutely beautiful. I really am right. genuinely really delighted with it. Great stuff. Fantastic. Yeah. Paul as well. The yep. countless hours you've spent yeah, right, working mate. on no this. Problem. Yeah, thanks Lovely. ever so much. Right, You're heroes. Thank you very much. She'll take it to have the exhaust made now. Yeah, yeah, then I shall bring it back for the final detailing yeah. and finishing off. That's yeah. it, that's good. And we'll oh, see how it you. sounds. Julian, hello. It's yeah. safely arrived. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping you can help me with uh, an exhaust. Well, we'll try our best for you. Yeah, we'll try our best. Can you give me an idea, please, of the kinds of um, finishes and what's available, how best to do it? Yeah, well, we, we can either leave it as what we call mill finish stainless. Yeah. We can offer bright polished, or yeah. we can go down the routes of ceramic coating, which is basically any colour you want. Yeah. And we get it period looking as well that way. But that's something I can decide a little bit later Absolutely. for the process. Absolutely, yep, we'll build Cause, the Because the original was just, it was a prototype, prototype sure. racer. I'm not looking for anything that's too fancy or shiny. The original was, was steel. Mick McGalligher to actually install the original system. He said, we formed it from, from steel, I actually had big steel pipes, filled full of sand, we'd plug both the ends and heat them and then bend them. Right. And he said quite often he'd have slightly damp sand and of course the thing would go off like a rocket. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Okay, there's a couple of merge collectors, but uh, that's oh, wow. what we call mill finish. So that is as it comes? That's as it comes. I mean, that is beautiful in its own right. It's actually a work of art. That's really very nice. Or and we can offer, it's basically the same component, but with a bright polish finish. This does actually look a bit blingy for what I'm looking for. I think so. I would prefer people to be able to see the quality of the welds as they could on the original, because that is so nice. And the other thing as well, once it gets heat in it and it colours, yeah. you'll get where you've got this colour here. That, the, yeah. the, the material the will actually go that colour as yeah. well, and I think it looks really nice. Sorted. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs>